Hello, hello, everybody. My own video. <laughs> I can't tell. Um, okay, I'm back. And pour number three for the day. I'm on a roll. Um, I'm going to do an open cup one with um, just one of these cups, I think, today and see how that goes. And uh, I got my colors here and I'll talk about that because um, I got some new Pearl X pigments today, this blue. Um, let's see, I got sapphire blue and I'm using this one that's called Scarlet, but it really looks like coral. And um, then the apple green, which is really like a um, lime green. Don't you love how I make up my own colors, <laughs> my names? I just discount their names and make up my own names. Um, so we're gonna start with some of this blue. And, and then um, I got a couple of um, uh, new deco art uh, paints that I'm going to add. So that one has a uh, metallic blue uh, from Artist Loft mixed in with the um, blue pigment. And this is the one that I call Coral. Um, and it's got deco art um, coral mixed in with it. And um, this is Artist Loft uh, Metallic Cobalt Blue. Put some of that in there. And then um, I've got Art, uh, Deco Art Berry. This is one of my new Deco Art colors. Um, I've had it before. I've gotten it from Hobby Lobby before. I keep pouring off that end over there and I don't mean to be doing that. Probably a year and, a half and then here's the what they call uh, apple green. Well, all right, and then um, I got gold, but I think I'm gonna put the gold. I'll put some more of this um, here, and then I'll dump some gold in on top of that. I don't like to put gold on top of light colors. I think it looks better coming in on top of something darker um, most of the time. That's pretty. I saw something on Facebook, and um, I guessed they the girl was not saying how she did it, and everybody's asking and. I'm hoping that she will eventually say because I think that's sort of why we're on there is to support each other and help each other and you know so I think you should tell people how you do stuff if they want to know um, but anyway it looks like an open cut pour to me and it had a lot of black in it and it, it got me thinking about doing another black open cup I haven't done one in a while so um, anyway that's what got me thinking about this and it keeps wanting to go to that corner because the table is still slanted and I've got to do something about that I think I'm gonna go out and get a board from outside and put that under it and see if that uh, see if that will help because it's really irritating some gold in. Alright, you. Come on now. Quit scooting. Scoot this way. And I love this uh, Artist Law Metallic Cobalt Blue. It doesn't look like Cobalt Blue to me, but I love it. It's just beautiful. We're gonna turn the tables on the slant. I'll just turn the whole canvas and let it slide this way for a change. Oh crap away. I'm not gonna waste the paint. But they had those pigments. I don't know what they normally are, if they were marked down or not, but they were 
like five and change. And I just couldn't resist that. I thought that was a pretty good price. And I like these, they come in the little jars. And so you get quite a bit. Um, it's better than, um, you know, I mean, price wise, it's better than like, would, uh, you know, like the color R pigments and eye candy and those things that are a lot more expensive. But they're good, you know. Um, as far as I'm concerned, color art's probably best, and eye candy is right underneath that. And then, but I like these Pearl X pigments just as well, you know. Um, I think probably the, the other two are just a little more vivid to me. I don't know. But I mix paint with all of mine, so, um, you know. I like the um, the vibrancy that and the color stasis that you get from paint the the depth I guess you could say that you get from paint but I love the glittery stuff that you get with pigments so I like to mix them I don't think the pigments do well just by themselves um, I've tried that a number of times and it turns out muddy um, I think it turns out muddy and uh, I just don't like the way it does so okay we are getting there I always like to have extra paint on these because um, there's always uh, some cool stuff and I like to be able to choose what I want to keep and you know pour off what I want to pour off okay now we got plenty of paint they always make the coolest cells around the outside and I always want to save those. I think maybe next time I'll pour some paint around before I start pouring my paint in my cup. See if I can pour, use that as pour off and um, you know be able to save more of these pretty outside cells. I'll block and keep them from pouring off, but they're at the edge, so you know. It's hard to keep them from being the ones that go eventually. I'm not crazy about that little part there. I'll pour it off. I like that green up there at the top. See, this is what I saw on Facebook. She had a whole lot of black in it, so it may not have been an open cup. It might have been... A flip cup or something but she had a whole lot of black and it um but it was really pretty and it got me to thinking about black open pores so anyway i didn't mean for mine to turn out just like hers but i i just it just made me think black open pour i guess i was wrong in my guess probably though some other people were guessing too um everybody wanted to, to know what kind of pour it was i was just curious because um, it was pretty. I always tell about how I do mine. I don't, um, I pretty much put it in the title on um, Facebook and stuff, you know, the post, title of the post. Um, I want people to know if they want to know. I mean, we're here to share, right? You know, help each other. Like that. It's pretty cool. I want to pour. Just a tad off down here, off the side here, stretch that across. Yeah. That's what I want to do. I want that stretch that green to go all the way across the middle. And then down some. I 
I don't want to lose my green off the bottom, though. Of this neat blue that's going to stretch across some. Just need to pour a little bit more paint off. I think I can do it off this corner down here and not change too much of what I got going on. I hate having to pour paint off, y'all know that, because I get so excited about how things look when you got lots of paint on, and I don't like to have to choose, but we have to. But like I said earlier, I ordered some more GAC 800. I haven't been using it in my regular pours, but I may start. I don't know. I had, I don't know. I probably won't do that. Um, I don't like to waste it. It's really expensive, and... I use it in my uh, blooms and uh, Shelly Art stuff because you have to put so much paint on the canvas for those, you know. It's hard to... I mean, I've had um, only a couple of things crazed and um, when I didn't have the GAC in there, but that's a couple of things too many. I hate crazy. And I want to do anything I can to keep that from happening, so... All right, that should be enough poured off. But I did want that to stretch across that way, so. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Interesting. It's glittery. It's got it's got a good amount of pigment in it. It's going to be shimmery and shiny, and I like that. In some things, not in everything. You know, I, I'm, there's that big debate over whether you can have too much, and I think you can. Um, because I've tried to do it with just pigment and um like i said they turn out muddy and um i didn't like them i, I think you gotta have a little uh real paint to get some substance in there you know a whole lot of black cells popping up. I would like to have, you know, a few, but I didn't want it to get just real dark. I wouldn't mind having some black pop through, like it's doing. It's doing pretty good like I wanted it to. How often does that happen? I mean, you only have control over so much. That's what I love about this. It's a balance. You know, there's some stuff you control, some stuff you don't control, and it's kind of a fight in the middle. <laughs> All right, well, I'm happy with that. I like that. Let me let y'all see. I've got to do some resin work, and i got to do some work on those backs of those other paintings i got out there. Yeah, okay. We got some black coming through. I wanted some black to come through. And the gold is, of course, always beautiful. I like this one. All right, I'm going to do one more painting, and then I'm going to go work on the backs and that resin and stuff. Um, I, I don't mind doing the resin and decorating. I like embellishing and doing that part. But I cannot stand having to clean up the backs tearing all that tape off and it gets stuck into the resin and having to cut it and sand it and that's like my least favorite thing to do but it's part of it so anyway thanks for joining me with this one you guys have a great rest of your afternoon it's beautiful here i hope it's beautiful where you are everybody still stay safe you know it's not gone we still gotta be careful um i've been going out and i've been seeing people not wearing masks and i don't know if they're washing their hands and you know we could have a big resurgence of this shit if we don't stay vigilant. So, um, anyway, that's just my two cents on that for whatever it's worth. You guys uh, take care of each other, and uh, I'll see you next time. All right, thanks for being here. Thanks for liking and subscribing. Y'all guys are helping me out. It's cool. I've been working really hard on it, and y'all are helping, and I'm really, really stoked about that. All right, I'll talk to you next time. See ya.